sushi. And I went out. I was just looking at this. It doesn't actually say Moshi on these. It says strawberry flavored rice cakes. Kuboto. Ishigo. Dafuko. Dafuku. Something like that. Anyways, I had them in a storage bag. I don't know how long. I don't know if I should freeze those. But anyways, I went out. They actually have a Mochi, Mochi website. And it'll tell you where you can find Moshi in your area. Well, I thought Moshi or what was ice cream. And then I went back to thinking that maybe it was just a flavor. That it was the same as this, but it was Moshi ice cream flavors or something. I don't know why. But I went to the local grocery store that it was supposed to be available in. But I went into the gluten-free aisle. I thought it was that... I started thinking about these again, and it didn't dawn on me for some reason to go. Well, I saw that they didn't have this. I thought maybe they they wouldn't have the ice cream. So I, for some reason, I didn't even think. I, I thought about the next door to go to. So I left without looking at the first door's frozen food section. Well, then I went into, um, I thought I was going into a market basket, but I went into a Whole Foods, and I ended up getting, they, I had to ask, because I didn't see them, uh, and they had a frozen food, well, they had a froze, a freezer with individual Moshi, so I don't know if it's for the same company, ice cream, and they were like $2 a piece, I think, so, um, they had a special for, for if you bought, I think, 12 or something like that. Um, it was $18, maybe. But the guy recommended the mango and, I think, green tea. But I think they're on the bottom. So, I should have got the individual packages because even though they had less um, variety, they were being a nice package, you know, for package for the American market. I should have went to the Japanese store to see if they carry the ice cream Moshi. But here they are. Enough talking. Let's take this lid off without making too much noise. Is that going to happen? So, is there actual ice cream in this? Can you let them, like if you leave them out... Can the ice cream become soft without them leaking? Because these are pretty solid. So, I don't know what flavor that is. Let me find the ones on the bottom. At least they're not sticking. I think this might be. I, there were two that were green and they weren't necessarily both. This is the mango. I think that's the mango. I'll find out, right? And then, what would green tea taste like? So maybe that's green tea. They just seem like frozen Moshi. Is there ice cream in this? I still don't. I'm confused. Well, I think the thumbnail I did on the first one uh, helped with the views on it, maybe, along with um, the title. But let me let me make this in a nice geometric pattern. Those are basically all the colors. And is it regular ice cream or is it like rice rice ice cream? I don't know. Is there such a thing as rice ice cream? So, this is like similar to the same thumbnail that I had. But that's what I have. And I'm going to try the two on uh, the left. So, I guess we can't really get closer in here. For some reason, the pink doesn't look pink in the view. 
always get this open. Okay, here we go. Get that open. Now, okay, it it is ice cream. Is it a rice ice cream? So that's what's inside that one. Can we get closer to that one? So, are they all? So I think this, wait a minute. I don't know what this one is. That's the, uh, that's the pink one. This is the mango. This is the one I'm pretty sure is the mango. So let's move this aside for a second. Let's get open the mango. Are they going to be different colors? What uh, what gives the flavor the outside or the inside? So cut this one open. It looks like it looks like it is a different color. So it's it definitely is a different color. If you can see that. So let's back this off a little bit. Actually, let me... I think I smell mango. So that's... I don't know what this one is. I don't know what the pink one is. But this hair is supposed to be mango. That's the problem. I don't remember what the flavors were. All right, so this. It's not, I thought I smelled some, uh, like a mango, but it's very faint. Well, let me try it. I guess that's, is it, is it maybe it's a sherbet. The ice cream just slips out of the outside rice um, cake, which is very chewy. That's sort of like, a, it's almost like a sherbet, I think. Well, this here is, um, a pep peppermint or spearmint, peppermint. I remember one. 
one of the flavors was that's unusual that the pink has the peppermint I can't remember the full name of it like I just didn't think of it in the flavor of a solid okay yeah it's like when you smell a tea bag but I never associate that with the taste I put sugar and milk in my tea and the ice cream so even though it looks like vanilla ice cream just vanilla but I don't recall any of them named vanilla so I like that too that's just plain vanilla um, yeah um, I don't know I like them I like the uh, chocolate I think the 
this is just another green tea. I don't think there are any others. Oh, I'm gonna, am I gonna end up eating the whole thing? this one the mocha if that's what I if that's if I remember correctly I guess on a hot day it's a nice container to have but they must melt so there's nothing but like milk inside when it's fully melted, but I don't think it would leak. I don't think there's any flavor in the rice cake. So. Really like the ice cream. It's a nice, uh, smooth ice cream. It's not like uh, grainy or anything like that. So I would say the mocha, the uh, peppermint, and then the vanilla. I mean, the green tea is kind of exotic or whatever, but I don't know. Let me try it again.
stands the mocha, the peppermint, and then the vanilla. Okay, next time I'll buy the packages. Ice cream just by itself would be good too.